Hello, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ here and these are movement studies that I did with the inking brush that I created. I made it so like the lighter it is, the, um, the thinner the line is, but the harder you push down, the darker and the thicker the line becomes. And I am using my Wacom tablet. Before we start creating and importing our own brushes, when you open up Blender 2D, it comes with eight default brushes, and that's the brush that I made right there. But if you wanna add the brushes at the bottom, what you do is you go to the active tool and workplace settings, click that drop down, and click download and import brush pack. So it will add those brushes that I just showed you at the bottom. Okay, now on to creating your own brushes in Blender. For this tutorial, I am using Blender 3.0 Alpha. So when you open up Blender, click on 2D Animation. Before I start drawing, I like to add these settings just to help me. So I get out of camera view, go to object mode, and then I like to add the 3D cursor and the canvas. And for some reason I added X and Y, I just default, I didn't mean, yeah. So I'm gonna add the 3D cursor and the canvas, it just helps me when I'm drawing. And then I deleted the stroke under the collection cause I wanted to add a blank. So I shift A, grease pencil, then blank. Now that I'm in camera view, I need to go to draw mode and click on the materials properties tab. And then at the top, click the plus to add a new material, new. And then I'm going to change it to inking brush and now this is where I go in and adjust my settings to my custom inking brush so I know that I want the strength to be higher and I'm gonna continue to play around with the settings to get it how exactly how I like it now that I have my radius and strength how I like it I'm going to click on stroke and continue to play with the settings I want to play with the radius under randomize so click randomize and then since I'm using my tablet I am going to turn it up and then I'm going to turn on the stroke random and then the use pressure. Okay let's see how this brush comes out. Mm, I like it but I want my radius to be a little bit bigger. I think I like this brush, I'm gonna keep this. So if you ever wanna change the color of the brush, I'm keeping it black, you can go down under base color and change it. So now I'm ready to save this specific brush in its settings. Now I'm going to go to active tool and workplace settings tab, and I am going to change it because I right now it's saved under the default pencil and I don't want that. I want it to become its own specific brush. I'm going to click the two right next to it and I'm gonna change the name to inking brush now that I have my name saved I'm gonna go down to my brush settings and I'm going to pin it so it remembers to pin my inking brush that I created in the materials properties tab and then I'm going to turn on my fake user I've learned that turning on that shield aka the fake user it prevents blender from deleting that data when I close blender so if I wouldn't have turned on the shield and I would have exited blender all this work I would have done would have been deleted and if I click my brushes you'll see my brush is right there and it has an F in front of it as fake user if you notice all the brushes do. I just want to go over two quick shortcuts when you're drawing. So while I have the draw selected in the top left, by holding down control and using my pen and my tablet, I can erase without having to go back and forth from draw mode to the eraser to draw to eraser. The second quick tip is by clicking shift F, you can change the strength of your brush. You can also, if you're using a mouse, right click and change the radius and the strength without having to go to the top every single time to adjust those settings. Now I'm ready to save this brush. So to do that, I'm going to save this blend file. I'm just gonna save it as inking brush. Now that the blend file is saved, and I just saved it one more time, I'm gonna show you where to access it. So I just opened up a new 2D animation scene and to access my inking brush, I go to File, Append, find the blend file that I just saved on my desktop. 
then brush and then find the brush these are all the brushes that blender has saved and find my specific inking brush and there it is and then for me i click fake user have that checked mark and then click append now when i click on all the brushes there is my inking brush right there and if i go in to draw with it it comes out exactly how i wanted with my settings that i did previously all saved and up next is how to import brushes I opened up a fresh 2D scene to where I'm going to import my brushes, but to do that, I'm going to go to Procreate, and this is one of my favorite brushes by artist Jamila, and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to see what happens if I put the brush in a circle and see how that comes out in Blender. When you're saving the brush, make sure the background is transparent and you save it as a PNG file. And now I'm gonna airdrop it to my Mac and go to Blender. Okay, back in Blender, I'm gonna delete the stroke like I did um, last time and I'm gonna add a blank. And then I'm gonna go down to my material properties, add a new material, kind of like I did previously. I'm gonna change the name. I'm gonna change this to textured brush. And while you're still in the material properties tab, under style, click texture. And then go to open and I'm gonna find the PNG file I saved from Procreate. Now going from object mode to draw mode, I'm going to use this brush and see how it comes out. That was too light, so I changed the radius and the strength and oh, they come out as dots, which makes sense, I guess. But um, these are really cute, but that's not exactly what I was looking for. I'm trying to make more of a textured brush, not dots. So I'm going to go back into Procreate and do this again. This time, instead of a circle, I'm going to do a rectangle shape and see how this comes out in Blender. I'm doing the same thing that I did last time. I'm going to make sure the background is clear and save it as a PNG. Okay, now I'm gonna try to use this brush and see how it comes out. Oh, this is much more what I was thinking of when I wanted a textured brush. And now I'm gonna turn on self overlap at the bottom so it gets rid of like that white line when you're overlapping the stroke. And now I wanna play with the coloring. So if you go to base color, I wanna change it from black to like burnt orange color. Yes, I do have it changed, but you can't see it because I need to go down to blend and change it from zero to the full max one. And I'm gonna adjust the color so you can see it a little bit better. And yeah, I like this, but I wanna play around with the color a little bit more. So I'm gonna change it from material to vertex paint. And it of course comes out this green color to change it. I would select the green color of the vertex paint, do the eyedropper, then change it from its green color to more of my orangish reddish color. I want to play with the color even more. So under stroke, I'm going to click randomize and I want to change the hue. And now the color is randomized. So it seems like the harder I press down, oh, the lighter I press it, the closer it comes out to the original color. But yeah, I like that. And these are the two brushes that I created. The inking brush at the top and right now I'm drawing with my textured brush. Hopefully you learned how to create your own brushes in Blender. This is Joyce and Anthony aka JJ. Until next time.